And guys, no bat flip for me tonight, but fingers crossed for the heat. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be glued to our TVs tonight. Sally Pearson, thank you. Well, coming up after the break, when politics and sport collide, Cricket Australia under fire over a controversial stand on Australia Day at the Gabba. And an end to the heat wave, but the threat of rain returns to our forecast. I'll have all the details for your weather over the week ahead after the break. Sharon Gardella is back here. She's now with a look at the top stories coming up in the news at six. Steve, urgent health warnings as the southeast heatwave peaks. Tony Auden's expert forecast. Plus, the cyclone threat in the far north intensifies as panic buying begins. Also tonight, the wild end to a manhunt for an armed suspect. Our police! Our police! Supermarkets under fire again, this time over dumped trolleys. A big day for preppies as school begins and how families are banding together to beat the cost of living. Seven News at six starts next. See you then. Weather time now and Liz, finally some relief from this heat. Yes, Amanda, after five days straight of temperatures above 30 degrees, today we sweltered. Cooma Waters local Sharon Nichols recorded a temperature of 41.8 degrees at 1.40 p.m. today. This was shortly before a cooler suddenly change moved through around 2 p.m. Tomorrow, some suburbs such as Yatla will fall in temperature by 10 degrees. Right now here in Main Beach, it's 26 degrees and winds are still fresh from the south-southeast. Earlier today, we saw some storm activity passed through ahead of that wind change. It was a warm night at 3am, 26 was as cool as it got for Burley before a top of 32, 23 to 36 at Narang, a top of 37 for Canangra and the apparent temperature felt more like 40. There's a lot happening in our satellite picture. Cloud is spiralling around a coral sea low which is likely to be named Cyclone Kiralee tomorrow. It's expected to reach a severe category 3 by Thursday. Closer to home in the southeast corner, a cooler day with southerly winds pushing in some cloud and possible coastal showers. So it can't hurt to put a brolly in the school bags, but if we do see anything, it should be light. And water change to our temperatures, most suburbs, a degree or two cooler than average tomorrow. For Surfers Paradise, 23 to 28 with clouds set in. On Gold Coast waters, south easterlies, 15 to 25 knots, seas building to two metres. And there were some solid waves along the coast today, plenty of options along the beach breaks early. And then after the wind change, the southern points really turned it on. We have a punchy easterly swell and waves should be around chest to overhead tomorrow. The all-important outlook, the last thing we need is more rain. Unfortunately, it's looking wet for the weekend and we will watch those falls closely, Amanda and Steve with the weather. Thank you so much, Liz, and thanks for your company. We'll be back again tomorrow night at 5.30. Good night.